Okay, um, again, I'll start out with two white cross example solves and then three color neutral ones. Um, so our white cross pieces are here, 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 and up here. Um, so actually what I found, what I can see is that I'm going to get, be able to do an extended cross here. And this is going to be, this is going to be pretty tricky to see actually. So it will involve this corner and this edge down here. Um, I wouldn't really do this. I wouldn't, this isn't really intentional. It's more just like unintentionally this extended cross kind of happens. So I see that when I do R prime, U prime, and then like something like F2, L, like that, then this edge um, comes into its solved position and this corner also doesn't get affected. So now that when I do D prime R D like that, then this back F2 L pair gets solved. So that's kind of lucky. Um, I guess what we can do after that, probably these two. So I can do a sledgehammer and then insert them into the back. Now, um, hmm, I can choose between either doing this F2 L pair or these two pieces. Now, ideally I want to orient all my last, ed uh, all of my last layer edges, but it might not be so practical in this solve. Um, so probably I can just go for these two like that, um, just to, uh, avoid a rotation. And then I can solve this one for my last pair. And then I've got Ola. And then PLL. Now, let's see if I can get this right. Um, ah, okay, I got that one. Just for reference, this is uh, the algorithm that I did. So it's this specific J permutation from this angle with this AUF. Um, it's just a really nice, just variation of the standard 10 move J permutation. So it goes one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like that. Okay, uh, second solve, and hmm, I've got a few different ideas we can do here. Um, I've got these two pieces, so this white F2L well pair back here, which might be handy. Um, I can do something like hmm, R, D, L, and then U, F, R prime, like that, to solve the cross and preserve the, these two pieces. Now, I notice that if I do a U2, and then L prime U2, L, I was able to set these two up for my next F2L pair. So I'll go ahead and rotate and solve those. Then... Actually, this is going to be really fancy. I can insert this piece into here by doing wide U. And then instead of going R U prime R prime, I can do U R U two prime R prime um, to set up these two for the next pair. Insert those. Then I can probably do a Nicholas here. And then what I would do is actually cancel into this U permutation. Like that. Okay, for this next scramble, um, we have hmm, a few different options. The red looks okay, the yellow looks decent, the blue looks decent as well. Um, let's just go with yellow and see what we can do here. So I can do something like D prime F, R D prime, R prime, uh, R D prime, R D prime from this angle, and this corner will end up in this position. So if we go D prime F, R D prime, R D prime, and because I'm in this position, probably what I'll do is do R U prime R prime to set these two up and then do L U L prime like that. Uh, now we have, I guess, a pretty bad case. Um, either we've got this edge in this corner, we've got this corner, and this edge in this corner, we've got this edge in this corner. So there's really nothing particularly great. Probably what I'll go for is these two like that. And then now I'll probably go for this corner and this edge into this back left slot here. And then lastly, these two, like so. Um, now, I guess I see that I have a, a diagonal corner permutation. So what I'll probably do is 
do f u r u prime r prime f prime to set up a soon and then a u permutation. Okay, next scramble. Um, and I think, uh, I think orange is going to be a nice one to do an extended cross on. Blue looks decent as well. Um, but let's go with, let's go with orange in this case. So if we do something like, uh, DFL, we're going to get this corner solved with respect to the, the cross and we've got this edge here. So if we go DFL, that solves this. And then we can just do R prime UR and then D2F to finish off the extended cross. Uh, now we have this nice easy pair into the back. Now, hmm, I'm trying to think of the best way to handle this. Um, obviously I want to orient this edge um, so that we have a last layer case with all the edges oriented. And I don't want to do too many rotations, ideally no rotations. So one thing we can do is just take this out to orient all of our edges. Now what I can do is do this F2L pair with keyhole, so this corner and this edge. So wide U prime, insert the corner, uh, insert the edge and then do a D. And now I'm in this uh, orientation so I can just finish off this case like that. And luckily enough we got an OLL skip and also a corner permutation skip. So that would have been uh, quite a quick solve I think. Okay, next scramble. Um, hmm. Red looks decent. Uh, orange looks decent as well. Um, so I'd probably just be inclined to go for one of those two. I uh, don't think I'll be making any extended crosses this time. Um, probably what I'll just go for is orange uh, is red. Sorry. So I can just do something like L U prime R prime D prime F R like that, and then go straight away and do this pair into the back. Then probably what I'll do is this F2L pair here. So pair it up like that, and then insert it. And just going back to, I guess, my logic for that is pairing it up with RU2R prime would bring out this last layer edge and orient it like so. Then I can do this. And now probably what I, do, what I want to do is insert this corner and this edge into this front right slot and also get this last layer edge oriented and we can do this by doing r u r prime f r prime f prime r and luckily enough we have these two and we have actually a winter variation case it's kind of hard to see and this is probably i wouldn't necessarily do this in a speed solve but i do have a case where i can go like uh, u r2 u prime r u r2 u prime and again we end up with a u permutation which is pretty lucky